G'day YouTube, welcome to another Clock Bench video. About a month ago I uploaded this video on how to get around this CPU error message, the SSC 4.2, when launching Counter-Strike 2 within Steam. I thought I'd put up the actual tutorial of the method I used to get the game running at least. I mean it doesn't run very well as you can see, but um, it does run. And maybe you can get it running better than me. So I just thought I'd put up a quick how-to on how I got around it. Around this error message. First off, you're going to need a processor that does not have SSC 4.2 instructions. If it does have the SSC 4.2 instructions, then it, it just doesn't work. Um, and you, why would you use it anyway? So you're going to need a processor without those instructions. The processor I've got here is the, my trusty Q9650 and it's running at stock speeds. So let's go ahead and bypass this error message. Firstly you're going to need to go to the Intel website, I do a search for Intel SDE, top link, click click on the download button and you're going to want the third one down which is the Windows version right here. Once that's downloaded go into your downloads folder and extract the folder somewhere wherever you want. Now once that's extracted it, for me it took quite a while to actually extract those files, I'm not too sure why. Anyway, once that folder has extracted, go into it, make sure all the files are there, all these files anyway, and then you're going to want to open your CS2 directory. So go back into Steam, right click, manage, and browse local files, which will bring up your Steam directory. You're going to want to go into game and then the bin and then the Windows 64 folder. Now all these files and folder in the Intel kit you're going to want to copy or cut and paste into your CS2 directory. I just pretty much dragged them over like that which actually took a while as well. I'm not too sure why. Anyway, once you've got all those files nice and neatly into your CS2 directory, you're going to want to open a command prompt CMD and we're going to want to run that as administrator, just like that. We need the CS2 location, so we just copy that, change to that directory, CD, control V, paste, enter, and that will get you into your CS go directory within the command prompt. Okay, once you're in the command prompt and you're in the CS2 directory, just type in SDE. Now here's where the tricky bit comes in. We need to select a processor from within our CPU ID folder. I think most of these work, but we'll, we'll try the I, IV bridge, IVB folder. So SDE backslash IVB double dash CS2. Now if we go back into our Steam app and watch the play button, this should automatically stop or say running once this SD kicks in, which will take a while.
Alright, there you go. CS2 running. Looks like a PowerPoint presentation, but it's still running. Now, this is certainly not recommended by any means. It runs like trash. Um, I would definitely consider upgrading if you do have a processor that does not support SSE 4.2. Um, there's plenty of cheap options out there these days. I mean, it seems to run... Actually, it seems to run pretty good in the menu. But once you actually get in game, it's absolute trash. And there's no online play either because... The, uh, you get flagged and you just can't play online. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, like if you liked it. Thumbs up if you didn't. Thumbs down. And I'll see you in the next one.